Jack Mack's performance was very polished. We are looking at a very tight game as we go into the last part of tonight's show. Paul is on 28. Rob is only one point ahead on 29. We'll be going for some more letters uh, very shortly. But, David, look, just before we do go to those letters, I am a little bit worried about mm. Lily. Yes. Because this obsession, this need to tweak... I'm actually wondering if there is a technical name for the condition. Yes, I anticipated your question, Richard. In fact, uh, Lily is a, a clinical tweakaholic. Uh, it is listed here. Tweakaholic. Yes. Even the uh, remedy is listed here, which is uh, rest and homemade cooking. Not, not lasagna, or are they not that specific? Not that specific, no. Not that specific. I get through a range of people, uh, but in Lily's case, lasagna topically applies. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes that's right. Provide the, uh, the appropriate results. Thank you for that technical advice, Please. David. It's a serious matter. <laughs> Rob, what would you like? Can I start with a consonant, please, Lily? Thanks, Rob. And just so you know, I'm in complete control, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> T. And another one? D. And one more? T. A vowel, please. I. Another vowel. E. Another vowel. A. A consonant. L, a consonant, S, and a vowel, please. And last letter, O. And here's our clock. letters on the show tonight. How did you go? I have a seven. That sounds pretty good, Paul. I also have a seven, thank you. That sounds good too. Let's have yours first, Paul. Uh, slotted. Rob? Toilet. Couple of good sevens, David. And a game of T.S. Eliot, uh, something I always thought was very funny when I was about 13. <laughs> uh, toilet and slotted, good sevens. And I have a full body here, Richard. Oh! Excellent work. Oh, well, I, I, you know, I almost just want to draw out the suspense, but Tell us. It pains me because it is a mathematical word, but it's totalised is there for all nine letters. Very nice work indeed. A full Monty. We are delighted to hear, but we're pretty pleased to hear two sevens for Rob and Paul as well. Still just one point between Rob and Paul as we go into the last numbers of the night. And Paul, uh, it's your combination. I think you went with the classroom mix last time. What do you think this time? I'm actually going to go the same. Thank you, Richard. I'd like, again, one large and five small. Thank you, Lily. One large and five small. Thanks, Paul. And our last numbers tonight. Four, nine, one, six, eight. And the large is 100. The target to reach is 605. Here we go. whether somehow you're managing to press the easy button, but uh, that wasn't the big challenge that we might have been looking for, um, assuming you got to the total. I did, thank you. And you too, Rob? Yes. OK, well, uh, let's go through the formalities. Not that there will be many of them, but tell us what you did, Paul. So starting with the teacher times six, so 100 times six. 100 times six. 600. 600. And then adding uh, nine minus four, which is five. Nine minus four is five. And that totals out at 605. 605. Well done, Rob. So, nice and straightforward. And, uh, Rob, same approach? Slightly different. Uh, it started with 6 by 100 for 600, and then I added 4 and the 1. 4 plus 1 is 5, and that gets you up to 605. So, very nice as well, Rob. Um, I'm a little worried, uh, Lily. Um, are you going to be obliged to tweak uh, or, you know, has there, has there been one tonight that's been enough? 
Uh, look, I can actually, now that you asked. <laughs> oh, I have asked you, yes. <laughs> well, only since you asked. I mean, I wouldn't have done it otherwise. 100 plus 1 by the 6 is 606. And then 9 minus 8 is 1. Take that away. It's 605. <laughs> Very constructive tweak, which probably work. Rob and Paul also scored 10 points each, so still only one between them. 45 for Paul, 46 for Rob. And that tiny margin in the scores means just one thing. We have a conundrum showdown tonight. So let's reveal tonight's conundrum. Your time starts now. I think it's illegally. Sounds good to me, but let's check on the screen. And it is illegally. <laughs> so with those extra 10 points, taking him to a total of 56, our winner tonight is Rob. <laughs> oh, but Paul, that was uh, so close. A great game. Only one point separating you two before you went into that conundrum, so it really could have gone any way at all. Well played, and uh, all the best with the wine in the future too. Thank you, Richard. And a Macquarie Dictionary, of course. Rob, great finish. Very well noticed with the conundrum, and that means we'll have you back tomorrow night. Thanks, Richard. So, David, we have settled on the new title for the show? Yeah, just letters. Mm. Lily? Not happy, Jan. Mm, not happy. <laughs> More negotiation tomorrow night, I think. Thank you all for watching and playing along with us this evening. We will see you tomorrow night at 6 when we'll do it all again. Good night.